Thank you for joining us today. My name is Dak Bush, Director of Technology Alliances here at Cumulo. Uh, I'll be the moderator for today's session. Before we start, just a couple of items to keep in mind. This webinar is being recorded and it will be available on demand within a few days. You will receive an email link with a, uh, a, an email link to the recording. We'll have Q&A at the end of the session, so please use the Q&A box to ask questions at any time. Today we have Tom Kolniak, Senior Director of Marketing from Addo, and Thomas Johnson, Product Manager at Addo, who will be walking us through accelerating Cumulo storage with FastFrame NICs and Addo 360. Thomas, over to you. Thanks, Eric. I'm just gonna share my screen here. So uh, as you said, I'm, my name is Thomas Johnson. I'm the uh, product manager in charge of our FastFrame uh, NICs, as well as our brand new uh, Addo 360 software that we're really excited about. We've been working uh, for a little over two years on this, and we finally um, released it to the public. It's available for Mac, Windows, and Linux, and it can really uh, accelerate your software and, and help with your client um, connection to uh, Cumulo storage. First, I'll talk a little bit about uh, Addo. Uh, and the fast frame advantage. We, so we have three generations of Ethernet NICs right now. The, the latest and greatest, fast frame three, um, goes all the way up to 100 gigs. Um, the Addo 360 tuning monitoring analytics software is a, is a, uh, a free download uh, that comes with uh, all of our, that works with all of our fast frame three products. And I'll be showing you guys that today. Um, we have extensive driver support, Mac, Windows, and Linux. We also cover uh, other operating systems like FreeBSD and Illumos. We have the uh, best in class uh, when it comes to uh, power consumption. Uh, we also include optics with all of our products, which is not something a lot of other uh, NIC vendors do. Um, you do have the option to buy them without optics, but especially with the, um, the world of uh, 25, 50, and 100 gig, um, the uh, optics are, are, can be uh, complicated and, and Addo is willing to help you with that. And we do include, uh, we do have SKUs with high quality and, and tested optics that, that come along with them. Um, we're always uh, on the uh, bleeding edge of advanced technologies, uh, Rocky RDMA, and more recently, uh, NVMe over fabrics. Um, our expertise is in the storage world, um, where uh, other, other uh, vendors might think of um, uh, client uh, and network connectivity. We're, we're always developing products, assuming our customers are working with storage. Um, and we are known for our, our world-class uh, support. So Addo 360, uh, it truly takes uh, fast frame uh, to the next level. Um, I do, I like to think of it as a Swiss army knife for ethernet um, storage optimization. So there's three key areas that we help with, uh, tuning. Um, we have uh, one click uh, set up for um, typical uh, uh, user uh, workflows like high throughput and low latency. And the idea, idea here is that a, a user can with just hitting one button um, have several things going on in the background, um, and these are presets um, that are enabled for really high performance uh, workflows. On the analytics uh, side, um, there is a, a diagnostic uh, function to Addo 360. It works like a, a, a check engine light would on, on the car. So there, um, there are thousands of things that 360 is monitoring at, at any given time, and if it sees something that, that we're not um, we're not, that we think might affect performance in a negative way, um, you'll actually get a warning uh, message. And it'll either be an explanation of what we think uh, the problem might be, or in some cases, there'll be a, an option just to, to fix it right there with, within the application. And on the monitoring side, there's uh, vital statistics. So we've gone and, and uh, pulled information from several different areas, uh, information from our NIC, information from the client operating system, and we put them in one um, easy to use um, graphic uh, interface. Um, so the, 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 really the benefits, it's all about, um, you know, there's, there's ben advantages for end users, resellers, and uh, OEMs. Um, on the uh, end user side, it's all about saving you time so that you can get back to, to working on your, your projects faster. You don't have to be a, a network engineer, um, sift through all of these um, different control settings. Um, our, our, our engineers have figured out the best uh, possible way of, um, of, of connecting and we, it's, it's right there for you with, with one click. Um, and for, for other, other people, the, the analytics and diagnostic capabilities are huge as well. It's about reducing uh, your co support costs, 
uh, bringing up um, you know customer retention um, because they, you'll be the go-to resource for that. So we have uh, certified uh, all of our fast frame three adapters and the, the the Thunderlink model. So if you're using Mac and you have a Thunderbolt port, um, these are all the models that work with Ada 360, and they're all certified with Cumulo right now. And I'm just going to go right into showing you our new application. And I'm going to log into, I'm logging into a machine in our lab because I'm working from home. Uh, so this is the, the first screen that you see when you open up Addo 360. Uh, it's called our system information screen. So here is where we pulled information from, from several different areas. And this is what, what our experts think is the, the most important um, data to have available to make sure that you're, 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 you have an optimized connection. So there's real simple stuff here, the operating system, the CPU, uh, all of the TCP IP settings uh, are here that, that are important. Um, so you can, you can look at this information, but also these are all tied into diagnostic capabilities with our um, diagnostics engine. So if there is a, a piece of information here that, that 360 doesn't like, um, it will give you a warning. Like if hyper-threading was disabled, it'll let you know if you had your firewall turned on, it would let you know that that's something that would negatively impact performance. So this is the first layer, and we can go down deeper into the next category, the NIC information. This is uh, all the um, data about our, our NIC and driver. Um, and you can see here, it gets a little bit deeper. I'm connected to an Addo um, Thunderbolt uh, device here, an Addo Thunderlink. Um, the PCI width and speed are here. And all of, the, all of this data is important, and it's also connected to uh, uh, an analytic and diagnostic capability. And we do have the uh, proprietary offloads that are built into our driver, and you can turn these on and off. And this gets a little bit more important when I start talking about tuning profiles, um, because our profiles will actually um, toggle these on and off as well. The third area, this is the uh, NIC statistics area. So these are, um, this is something that's proprietary to Erdo. This is, uh, if, if, you've, if you've worked with us before, you, you might recognize this as AT net stat. And this is uh, data that's coming on, coming in uh, over the wire for uh, packets. So you can see there's a ton of information here. Um, some of the more key ones here are errors. And again, these are all being monitored on, in our diagnostics engine. So if there were, let's say, CRC errors coming through, that would indicate something like there might be problems um, with the uh, actual wire or the cabling itself. So you would get a message to, um, you know, hey, you might want to check. Uh, because we're seeing a lot of uh, um, CRC errors, there might be a cable problem. But all of this data is linked to um, a, a, a possible warning, and uh, there you can uh, you can use it to help familiarize yourself with what's going across the wire and and uh, an Ethernet um, connection in general. Or you can just leave it alone and, and know that Adult 360 is watching this, and we'll, we'll let you know if we see something uh, that's out of the ordinary. The uh, next category, uh, network. So this goes even deeper. Now this is every socket that's opened up. Um, and so these are individual streams and we're collecting um, 24 points of data on each stream. And you can customize this view um, right here. Um, basically you can add or, or remove a piece of the data that you wanna look at. And again, this is a, same thing as with our, our AT net stat. This is um, information that if, if, uh, if you don't want to use it, you don't have to do anything. But again, we're, we're monitoring this inside of our application and we'll let you know um, if something is going on that, that we don't like. But there's a ton of data here that, that uh, 360 is monitoring at any given time. And uh, we spent a lot of time working on this and we're, we're pretty proud of, of what, what it's capable of. This is the real uh, meat of our application here, our next area. This, these are tuning profiles. <laughs> And uh, you can see we have a few here. Um, our plan is to add add more over time. Um, right now, they're, they're, uh, the workflows that we're optimizing for are high throughput, low latency. Um, obviously, the idea here is if, if, you're, if you're just concerned about getting the most megabytes a second, you'd want to click on the high throughput. Uh, low latency um, favors um, bringing down the packet loss over high throughput. So there's a few different um, settings that go on. Uh, there and then we also have uh, uh, another profile for multi-stream uh, throughput. So if you're working with uh, systems that transmit and receive large amounts of data over multiple queues, uh, you're going to want to use that one. 
But the idea here is when you um, when you hit apply, giving you a message that you probably want to unmount if uh, um, if you have anything mounted right away. Um, because what's going on when you hit that? There, there's actually several things going on, but we built a whole service to um, uh, make uh, sys control changes. So there's over 350 um, sys control parameters, and we've gone through, and, and we know the the best ones to um, turn on or off depending on the workflow. And so that's happening automatically, as well as we're making some ETH tool commands, uh, and we're also um, turning on or off our uh, offloads uh, depending on on the workflow that you're using. Um, so that's that's a, a, a big service that we built in. All this stuff's happening in the background. These are things that normally would take a lot of trial and error and and finicking. Um, and our experts have set this up so that it's right at your fingertips to do in, in one click. So the idea is to make it a lot easier for you so you, you don't have to spend uh, a lot of time setting anything up. You can just get right to work. And the final area that I'm going to show you here is our diagnostic. Now, I purposely turned on uh, SMB signing before this just to kind of show you how this diagnostic would work. Um, SMB signing is a, a, a MAC function that encrypts packets and it causes performance to uh, it affects it in a negative way. So basically what we're telling you here is that you should probably disable SMB signing. And right here is where I, I turned it on. Um, there's a delay, but in about 40 uh, seconds, this, this diagnostic area here uh, will go gray. And uh, so, so that's why I like to call it a check engine light. So if, it's, if, if that is grayed out, um, you don't have anything to worry about, but if you see that red um, warning sign, uh, there's a message there waiting for you, um, and you'll probably want to check that and see if, if there's something you know, going on that might be affecting uh, performance in a negative way. Uh, but that's uh, that's Addo 360, um, and we have a lot of plans for the future. Like I said, we are looking to add more tuning profiles. Um, down the road, we're looking to add, uh, work with Cumulo and, and create uh, custom uh, settings just for their um, storage. So that's something you could look forward to uh, later on this year. Um, and we're, we're really happy, we're really excited about it. And that, that's all I have. Thank you, Thomas. Um, so <clears throat> we've got a couple of questions here. Um, uh, so right off the top, uh, do you have per queue uh, explicit congestion notification or priority flow control settings on the NIC. This is critical for our DMA workloads. We do. Um, so that is uh, our, our FastFrame 3 um, supports uh, Rocky RDMA. So we, we do have priority flow control. Now on the um, NIC statistics area, we have some flow control settings that we're showing there. Um, and then we're going to be adding the, the priority flow control settings in later versions of the of the um, uh, software, but uh, that is something that our NICs currently support today. Thank you. Um, just a second here. Um, can you go into detail on the sys control tuning? Yeah, so it's different. There, there, are, there, there are different parameters that get set up uh, per operating system, per, um, uh, work, per, per tuning profile. Um, so I can't say everything that we do, but I can give you in, in general, we'll, we'll, we'll make between seven or eight different um, setting changes with, with each profile. Um, and if you do want to, um, we, we, if you, if you wanted to set up a, a personal call, we might be able to go into a little bit more detail um, about what exactly we're doing. Uh, but each, each profile has different sys control um, tuning settings. And um, so if you know anything about tuning Ethernet, that's all stuff that we've gone through. Um, and our engineers have a lot better of a, of a handle on that than, than me personally. So I wouldn't want to get myself in trouble um, here today. But I can tell you, like, the, for the Mac high throughput, I know there are seven. Um, sys control parameters that are being changed when you hit that button, and we can we, we I can obviously get into more detail if you want to set up a personal call. Thank you. Um, another question: uh, Can you go into more detail on the differences in how you tune uh, SMB v2, v331, and SMB multi-channel? 
Right. So um, right now, the the um, uh, so that that would be later on. Uh, right now, we're just tuning for um, uh, high throughput, uh, low latency. We're doing we're working on things that we can control with our uh, with the client. Um, when we start working on uh, storage specific workflows, like things we'll do with Cumul later on this year, um, we'll we'll start working on. There'll be a Cumul NFS profile, there'll be a Cumulo SMB profile. Um, so we're not doing a lot with that right now, but that's something that we're looking to add in the future. Thanks, Thomas. Uh, next one is, what is the price of 360? It's, it's absolutely free. Um, it's a free download on our website. It works with all of our fast frame three adapters. Uh, and then the next one would be, do I need uh, 360 on each client? Do I need to install it on each client? You do. Um, so each each client would have to have its own uh, version of 360. Um, so this is a we're, we're focusing on optimizing what we can control. Um, our NIC, our driver, and the client that you're using on um, is is what we can optimize right now. So each each system will have to have its own 360. Okay. And what kind of system resources does 360 require? Uh, how how big is the image? Stuff like that. It's not. Yeah, it's not very. Uh, it's a, it's you know seventy six megabytes is the the size of the uh, application uh, total. Um, so when we designed it, we always you know we had a couple we had a few things in mind. We always we wanted to the typical adult customer is someone who's you know, very creative, um, but maybe doesn't have the network engineering expertise. Um, so we had we had those customers in mind, and we also wanted to make sure that three sixty wasn't going to cause any poor performance with the machine. So um, we always had that in the back of our mind, not to make it um, too intrusive. And I think we did a, a pretty good job of doing that as well. Okay, cool. Um, so I don't have any more questions coming in. Just one, oops, just a second. Maybe I do. Um, nope, no more questions. Uh, uh, from attendees at this point. Uh, just one one question from me, Thomas. Are there any other advantages of using fast frame NICs that you'd like to talk through? Well, I mean, the, the um, you know, certainly all the things that I went through at the beginning, um, you know, uh, we're, Addo is a, a high performance um, storage company. Um, we always um, want to work with companies that are connecting to high performance stores like Cumulo. Um, and we have a lot of experience in a good working relationship with Cumulo. Um, the, we, we have a, an incredible Mac driver. So if you're using uh, Mac uh, um, clients, um, you'll see that we've done a lot of work um, to this driver to make it uh, perform as best as it can. Uh, but we also support Windows and Linux. And you get all of, our, all of the support is housed in, in Buffalo, New York. And that's something we're very proud of. Um, we don't charge anything extra. Um, you know, we're, we're always willing to take your calls and work uh, as, a, as a consultant for you. That's awesome, Thomas. You know, uh, customer experience is definitely key. It's something that uh, I think uh, both Addo and Cumula are very uh, uh, focused on delivering for our customers. Um, with that, um, uh, with no more questions, I think that's a wrap. Thank you all for joining. We'll be in touch soon with the recording and some additional information. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to Thomas or myself. Thank you.